Hostas, of course, have grown up as being known to do tremendously well in the shade. They love shade. Well, they do, but there are a number, particularly the fragrant hostas, that absolutely adore the sun. They love being in the sun. And this is an area down in Mrs. Tucker's garden where it doesn't really receive much shade at all until the winter, by which time, of course, they've gone over. So here we've put some of the sun-loving, sun-tolerant hostas, including the magnificent salmon substance, which when it's out, will be big and gold in the sun. And in the shade, it'll still do well, but it'll be big and green. Other interest here, the apple tree is just starting to come into flower. That's fabulous, and I shall be heading down here for my apple crumble in the autumn. Mrs. Tucker's garden is an interesting garden. There's lots of different things going on. But for hostas, have a look at this now. We'll come back in a couple of weeks' time and you'll see how crowded the whole bed is.